Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today is Saturday... Uh, oh, it's September. September 5th. In my last video, which was last weekend, I did a 28 miler at Prophetstown. I'm going back out there this week, today. Getting started a little bit earlier today, which is great. It's 9.30 in the morning. I've had my coffee already, so it's starting to kick in. This week, recovery has been a little bit harder to come by because... Uh, right off of that 28 miler, I did 10 on Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I did seven each day. Uh, and one of the, the Wednesday was like an interval day, so I didn't really give myself much of a break. Uh, kind of just kept pushing, uh, which is good. That was the plan. These two weeks are supposed to be uh, two of the hardest weeks so far uh, of my training. <clears throat> So I'm sitting right now at 32 miles after five days, uh, which is pretty solid for me. And then out here uh, today, hopefully, like I said, uh, I'll be sitting right in the mid 60 range for the week with one more day to tack on a few more miles tomorrow. Uh, that's the plan as long as everything goes well. Uh, but this week recovery has been hard to come by uh, because of the aggressive schedule. Um, and I've got a few things here and there that are popping up like a few old injuries that aren't feeling so great. My right knee has been feeling a little weird. Uh, so I've been rolling out my hip and my uh, hamstring and glute and everything all week. Hopefully that doesn't cause problems today. And then kind of like a little bit of a few flares here and there throughout the week of plantar fasciitis. But then also just like a overall, just a kind of, I guess, run down feeling. Uh, kind of exhausted uh, from the training, which is good. Like, that's the point. That's where I'm supposed to be. As long as I give myself some time to recover after today, going into next week, uh, my body will adapt to it and uh, fitness will improve. So that's the plan. And then I've also put in so much time to editing this uh, Tahoe 200 mega vlog that is probably already out on the channel. I think I'm I'm basically done with it. I think I'm gonna drop it on Monday morning. You guys seem to like it and it's fun. It's kind of fun to put out a YouTube video. It's like almost an hour long. Hope you've seen it. Uh, probably took you a couple viewings to finish the whole thing if you did. But if you did, thank you so much because uh, yeah, that means a lot to me. And like I said last week, I want to get a new pack, but I haven't yet. I still have the same pack I've had for, I think this is pack is going on like six or seven years old. Uh, it's a Salomon S Labs 5L, uh, and it's a fine pack, like nothing wrong with it. It's the advanced skin, so it's got a little bit of extra layers, but that, that, and that's been the problem. That's the reason why I kind of want one of their ultra vests because on the back, it's got three layers and they're all different material and they all just like trap in a ton of heat. It's not the fanciest vest out there anymore, especially since it's so old, but I like it. I don't have a problem with it. And vests are expensive, guys. Also uh, using the Coros Vertex again uh, with the Stride Pod, which is just a great integration. Exoskin socks again. Let's see, I've still got a couple, still got a couple of gels in here from last week that I didn't use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Motivation is like not super high right now, <laughs> if you can't tell. I've been tired this week. These last, well, the last two weeks of training uh, have really run me down. So my plan right now is for September 18th to be the self-supported 50 miler, which is in 13 days, it's a Friday. I'd rather do it like that than take up like a whole weekend and be just exhausted and missing my family. So taking off Thursday and Friday of work that week, planning on driving up to Chain of Lakes, uh, camping out the night before, and then going for 50 miles, like just trying to wake up early, get it done uh, on that Friday, coming home and then having the whole weekend with my family. So that's the plan, but that's in 13 days. Uh, so after this weekend, I'll just start uh, changing my training up a little bit and we'll talk about that maybe later, probably in the next live stream, we'll talk about it uh, because I don't know exactly how today's gonna go yet. <laughs> Let's get going. Out. 
I am gonna do just like a few like kind of like stretches, warm ups right now, and just get the blood flowing. And I'm just gonna take this first lap like super super easy. That's the plan right now. Hit and start. Got my polar chest strap on, stride pod. Long day. Long day. Got my first nutrition alert of the day. So that means I'm 40 minutes in, 3.7 miles. Just taking it super easy. Kind of exploring this new little trail uh, that I don't normally go down because it's normally like flooded out here, but it's not today, so that's good. As I was saying earlier in the video, uh, all week my legs have just felt like they've been like locked in cement and they haven't loosened up yet, which is not fun. It's just like, running just hurts right now. Not like my joints or anything concerning, it's just like uh, my muscles, specifically, mostly my calf muscles are just like, just achy, you know. But like I said, that's kind of expected at this stage in training. We're doing like two big weeks back to back. I just hope they loosen up today at some point this is gonna be a long tough run if they never loosen up <laughs> took a gel walked for a minute to let it settle and now oh, So finishing up lap one, 10.4 miles. Added, since it's cooler today, added another trail to the lap, which gave me uh, like three and a half extra miles or so. feeling pretty good right now uh, it's nice to get 10 miles in a loop I just haven't been able to do uh, the big 10 mile loop because it's been so hot recently but today it's only like gonna hit 85 or something I think big loops all day So, 
after 10 miles, did uh, two of these gels, 100 calories and 90 calories. All right, headed out for lap two. I put in my Jaybird Terra Pro headphones. I got my iPod and I'm listening to the audiobook Dune. Uh. It's gonna be a good one. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what's happening. My GoPro keeps turning on in my pack, which is really annoying. The battery's about to die. So I don't know if I have a bunch of crazy footage of nothing or what, but listening to Dune right now, which is helping to keep my mind off of my legs that haven't woken up yet. I don't know what's gonna happen with this footage or this video. Whatever. up up to uh, 21 miles right now <gasps> okay just finished 30 miles uh, the last couple miles were really, really tough. Walked quite a bit. I'm filming on my iPhone right now because both batteries in my GoPro died. I actually brought a dead one, which is awesome. Oh, whew, my hip just cramped. I need to drink water, Gatorade something. Oh. 30 miles. All right, I'm gonna stop this, because it's just, I can't even hold the phone up right now. But yeah, I will catch back up with you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so the battery on my GoPro died, and when I went to go replace it, the second backup battery that I brought was already dead. And it's because I just simply forgot to charge them. Uh, the, well, the first one was charged, the one that was in the GoPro, but the second battery I thought was charged, but it wasn't. Uh, so, there's no more footage from this run that I did yesterday. <laughs> and it's really sucks because that was my longest training run I think I've ever had like outside of a race. I don't think I've ever ran more than 30 miles uh, just on a training run. And there's no footage from like the whole second half of it, uh, which is kind of frustrating. But I can show you guys kind of like what happened. The run actually went really well. I was using it uh, more like race preparation rather than like a long training. I mean, I guess it was kind of both, but I was using my car as an aid station. Uh, and so like this first time I stopped, uh, I think it was like 10 minutes or so, 53, yeah, like 12 minutes was the first stop. 
The second stop after 20 miles was about 30 minutes. Like I just really wanted to take my time and just sit and recover, uh, drink a lot. I drank two full 32 ounces of Gatorade at that stop. Uh, so I got in like almost 400 calories and 64 ounces of fluid lots of sodium replacement, uh, potassium, all that good stuff. But the third one was really, really tough. There was a couple places where I had to stop and sit for a few minutes, like on a bench. I don't know if this is like, has to do with the fact that this is just a training run versus a race, because I don't feel, I've never felt as bad as I felt like the last couple really long runs towards the end of it in races. It's really weird. And like, if we look at the first 20 miles, uh, my pace was like 11.50. And that would put me at a 19 hour and 43 minute 100 miler. So obviously that's too quick uh, to go out in a race uh, for someone like me who's targeting somewhere more like maybe 24 hours on like a flat course like this. Uh, so if we go into a pace calculator and we say 24, 24 hour pace would be averaging 1424 per mile. So actually the third lap, the last 10 miles, I was averaging 1446 which is just a few seconds slower than the 24 hour pace. And I felt like I was crawling on like that last, the third loop. What I really need to work on for these longer type runs is my pace. The unfortunate thing is that for a training run, you just wanna go out there and you wanna kind of get it done. Uh, but what you really need to work on is your pacing. And so that's like, like really, really good information. And another reason why you should always come back and check out your data uh, because it's gonna tell you things that like you probably wouldn't have known. Like, my body's just like feeling really super worn down right now. But that's the point of these big weeks. That's the point of training hard to do these ultra events. Um, so let's go do it. That's it for this video. I'm actually exporting the Tahoe 200 mega vlog right now. So that's gonna be up on the channel probably before this video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it right up here. Go check that out. These mega vlogs are super fun uh, for me to just put together. Like, I think this one's like 47 minutes long or something, uh, but just like a super long YouTube video and uh, just see what happens. And I got really good responses from the last one. I'm watching these back and I don't think they're super exciting because it's just like me walking around showing what's happening. And when you're filming a documentary at a race, not a whole lot is going on. So hopefully you guys find these exciting. Uh, I'm putting them up like almost a year after it happened just because I really value all you guys and I wanna show you guys kind of like a peek behind the scenes of what it's like to do what I do. Uh, so hopefully that's valuable for you guys. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully it's entertaining at all. But all that said, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you like this kind of stuff because I am able to put out a lot more content nowadays that I'm not I, that I don't have a documentary that I'm actually working on. Uh, I'm in talks with a few other people uh, and channels and stuff, uh, which is all really, really exciting. Um, but nothing going on right now that I'm actually filming or working on. Uh, right now, it's 100% YouTube. So we're gonna go with it, we're gonna run with it, and uh, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, this is so fun to do together. Uh, leave a comment down below what you got going on right now. If you're training for anything, any big like FKTs, or if you have any races or anything like that, or if you're just trying to hit a new distance, maybe it's you're trying to go for your first half marathon or something, let me know down below. I love talking about that kind of stuff. But that's all, I'm ending this video right now, I promise. If you guys haven't seen this video, go ahead and check it out. It would mean a lot to me. That's it, I'll see you again soon, bye.